we're having the conversation. Not trying to start any fights here. We love Stevie. We love the wings. But we're opening the door to the conversation. We are entering year five of Stevie's rebuild of the Detroit Red Wings. At what point does Stevie's seat start getting a little warm? Initial reaction is not this year. Steve still has a cool seat, in my opinion, this year. The following season, if this team does not show with his players an ability to grow, become better, and compete, I am, I'm going to say I'm not turning it up slow. I'm turning it up quick. As soon as his players are in this system, I'm ready to turn that to like medium high. I don't think there's like a slow burn into it. It's going to hit me like a wall and I'll be like, it's time. It's time that, you know, all these players that you drafted, your guys have, you know, scouted out. You've had the free agencies to try to put some of this together. It's going to hit me like a wall. That's the best way that I can put it. What about you? I think, and we've talked about this a little before, where... I still, I don't think my seat is warm yet, but I am at, I am past that complete blind trust. Like whatever he's doing must be perfect phase. Now I'm looking at things a little bit more. I'm kind of like, okay, I, I don't want to say questioning, but I'm definitely off the, the, the honeymoon phase is over. If that makes sense, where now I kind of want to see results and that doesn't necessarily results doesn't have to mean wins playoffs or whatever something measurable just something i can see that i can for sure tell things are at least headed in the right direction now whether that's pure effort on steve eiserman's side whether that's going into this offseason and using that war chest use it to bring in talent that is ready to go right now that will immediately make me feel comfortable seeing the effort and i i hate it gives me flashbacks to the Ken Holland days of just watching these prospects and just watching them rot, signing them for too long, letting them sit here. I'm not saying we're there yet, but I am. I'm just weary of it because we saw it so much. I just don't want that part to come. Yeah. And I want him to be fully ready to pull the plug on someone like a Zadina. If it's not, if he's not the guy. Instead of let we've we've watched his Red Wings fans all through the 2010s keeping players way too long, and I'm ready. He has built this war chest, and it is impressive the way he's built it. And we were always in shock and awe on all those trades he made every time. Fleece this team, fleece that team. That's great. I'm and I'm still I'm not taking anything away from that. But there's a part two to building a war chest, right? They're spend it. using it, right? And that doesn't mean picking all these players because you have a limited roster size. They can't all play. They can't all develop your, if you use all 50 of your picks, they can't, it's not possible to develop them all. That plays in pretty well to a point that I want to make on why I'm not being too critical on Steve just yet. And that is a lot of what we are witnessing to be clear, right now. Neither of us are being critical, critical of actions taken so far. Yes. Right. So yes. we are happy with what's happened. We're just looking forward right now, but there is a lot of talk in Detroit that, you know, it's been too long. Like, turn it up, mm -hmm. get it, make the playoffs this year. I have a couple points I want to make with it. A lot of the players that this team is relying on right now, that middle six and, like, the players like Zadina and Valeno, that you absolutely needed to perform. Like, if this team was going to make that step, it has been time for those two. Neither one of those are Steve Eiserman's guys. They have been in the league long enough now. They were Kenny's guys. We have no depth like that are like ready to come up into the NHL out of Kenny's guys. Like it takes a while to develop NHL talent. And I think what Kenny left Steve Eiserman was so horrible that it leads to Steve Eiserman going into the off season, signing people like Robert Hag and hoping that they can be a solid six defenseman. There's a lot of hope in that we signed Pissick. Like you can see that we're just trying to like patch the defense because we didn't have anything in that pipeline, but then our forward pipeline is getting backed up because we still felt like our younger guys, like Soderblom, as much as I love him, just not quite ready to go be on like a middle six to a contender, which I'm being a contender right now. 
in our division is absolute hell. Okay, we are in a blender. When you have Toronto, Boston, um, Florida, Tampa, like, and a team like Ottawa that's kind of in your situation, trying to do exactly what you're doing. Yeah, and that series against them last year, just a few days before the trade deadline. Man, that was telling. That was a very clear, like, you are not even where the Senators are right now. And I believe Steve came out and said he was probably going to be selling no matter what. Because I bet he knew going into that series that we aren't quite up to a Florida level to even scooch in and be the eighth seed, right? I think he knows this team significantly better than any of us and decided it's time to call that quits. It's time to get what we can to, again, buy in the future. And I'm with you. You can't sell forever. You eventually have to be able to go out and buy someone. I'm hoping that can be an Alex to bring it. Team needs a goal scorer, but it's just too going to be early. tough with him being on Ottawa. That's if he was on, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of different teams, I would be liking our chances. That's going to be tough though. Even with that war chest, yep, I'm just, and do you want to blow all your war chest on one guy? Like that's what's it's tough. Yep. I'm ready to start criticizing Stevie when I see his players not performing in the NHL. I think I'm there with you. It's, I think you probably mean this too. It's not necessarily when they're not performing, but when they're not performing and he doesn't take action to follow it. I'm, yeah. I, I feel like Steve has shown himself to be someone where he'll get like you. And you said, I'll, I will give, I'll give you credit. You said this the other day that Steve absolutely is shown to be that guy that is going to give someone a chance Shout out before applicator. he pulls them out. And I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think he will let go when he needs to let go. Will he use the war chest, though? That's the big question this offseason. Really hope so. I guess so. We'll, we're going to be following the draft, the free agency, and all of that through the coming weeks. So make sure you subscribe, come back around, and we'll see you in the next one.